As you can see, this is Charlie's garage. Go away. <laughs> we don't have any. We don't have any. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Artie. How are you? Come in. Okay. <laughs> It's an eclectic collection. Yes, I'd, I'd say that. Uh, 59 Triumph Bonneville 650 belonged to a friend that died last year. Um, he had a collection of bikes, first year for the 650 Bonneville. Okay. Nice bike. Yeah, very nice bike. Earnhardt Bush Series car. Got it a couple years ago. Fun car for open track. Okay, okay. Uh, Next one's a Tony Stewart Home Depot car from, uh, it's a 99, his rookie season when he, Tony was rookie of the year. Oh, okay, all right. Fun track car. Oh, fun track car, okay. What, what? This is a 70 Rally Sport Z28 that I got off the original owner in Chicago. Um, it's got 1,100 original miles. It's kind of the benchmark for original Z28s. Everything's original, original paint. It had the original oil in it. This I just got from a lady in Syracuse, New York, as a little girl. She grew up uh, watching the lady down the street drive it. And the lady died a few years ago and she bought it at the estate sale. It's got, it's a six cylinder automatic radio delete, um, 9,800 original mile car. Wow. This is a 67 Rally Sport Z28 that was basically all apart in Fresno. Hmm. Um, I got it a couple years ago. Original owner still around. Pretty loaded up car, headrest seats. I put an experimental Chevrolet aluminum motor in it. Kind of unique in that it has a personalized Z28 license plate that I put on it. That's, oh. Everybody assumes it's fake, but that's the real plate. Oh, really? That's, yeah, it's a oh. sign to this car. There's only one California plate that says Z28. And what is this blue car? Next one is a Plain Jane 69 Rally Sport Camaro with 29,000 original miles, original paint, survivor car. Mm. This next one's a 67 SS RS350. It's nothing special, just a really clean example that was a one owner car till 2002. This one on the disco stand that came out of an airport. <laughs> uh, it's a 70 Hemi Challenger with a fiberglass hood, which is a hood that's used on the TA Challenger. But as far as the records are, there were two Hemi Challengers built with this TA Challenger hood, a black car and this red car. Oh, okay. Black car is known to be destroyed. This is the only known documented Hemi Challenger with this hood. Now, what's the little, the <laughs> little blue car there? That's a Peel P50 built in the Isle of Man. In Great the, little car. How many horsepower is it? Uh, this one got rebuilt. It's got a seven horsepower four-stroke motor <laughs> in it. It had a 50cc two-stroke, but it wouldn't climb any hills. Oh, so they... It <laughs> wouldn't go on anything but flat land. Yeah. It was geared for 60 miles an hour, and mm. you mm. don't want to go 60 in it. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't think so. No. <laughs> now, this is defines eclectic. The, this yeah. is eclectic. Yeah. This is... This is a 3,000 horsepower 55 Chevy, which is not your average 55 Chevy. Right. To, to, so tell us a little bit about this car. This was built by a crazy guy in Australia named Rod Hadfield. And he wanted to build the highest horsepower street registered car in the world. So he built this. He spent, he had two fabricators working full time five years on it got a Rolls-Royce Merlin P51 Mustang fighter plane engine in it. Uh, Lenco two-speed, big Dana rear end, all the rivets and stuff that are painted on the car, that's all three different shades of paint. Each one of those rivets has to be masked and sprayed at least three times, and there's over 6,000 of them on the car. I don't know, the car's an engineering marvel, but yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of cars, but this has got to be one of the finest engineered cars I've ever seen. 
And how many radiators are on it? Uh, there's one there, there's another one, the equal size in the back. There's probably five cooling fans, three or four oil coolers, two alternators, 12 volt system, 24 volt system, three water pumps, power steering, power brakes, power windows, two way radio for driver and passenger to talk to each other. It's now, and this, because it was made in Australia, this is actually a right-hand drive. Yeah, right-hand drive. But that's easy to get used to compared to driving the rest of the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. 7,000-pound car, so you don't just throw your little floor jack under it and work on it. It's kind of... They've thought of everything. Now you can get under it, work on it, whatever right. you got to do. Right. This seemingly big wing is also a fuel tank. It actually has three fuel tanks. One here, one in each quarter pan. I'll hold 70 gallons of gas. It's another radiator in the back. Four more fans. Two more oil coolers. Um, there's Pioneer couplers so you can disconnect this tank and just run off the saddle tanks in case you need to drive the chassis around without the body on it. It's built so you can lift the body off and drive the chassis as it is. <laughs> this is a weak moment. It's a 55, I think, Austin A30. Looks like something out of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Um, it was actually a four-door sedan that over in Europe somebody made it into a two-door convertible. <laughs> <laughs> I had to have it. I have no idea why, but <laughs> okay. it looks cool. And Next to it's a little Isetta. I just like these. These are just fun little cars. How many horsepower is it? Uh, this is 13 horsepower. The Austin is 30 horsepower. 30. So we got 7 horsepower, 3,030, 13. All in one corner of the shop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And the black Camaro here. Uh, black Camaro is a pretty special car in that it's a 69 RSSS, 396, 375 horse, full boat, uh, loaded, triple black convertible, black top, black paint, black deluxe interior, pretty rare, kind of one of the king of the hill cars with Camaro convertibles. Uh, driver quality, 69 Yanko Camaro, 427 Camaro, four speed, everybody knows about Yankos, just kind of a good old honest Yanko. Uh, next to it is a Berger, 427 Camaro, Copo Camaro. Copo, C-O-P-O, -O, Central Office Production Order. It's how they process like special taxi cab builds and stuff like that. And these were special builds where they put 427s in them because they didn't offer a general 427 as an option. And this one's just a 65 Mustang track car. Yeah. Kind of a fun car. So it's a, this is a kind of a clone of the GT350s, is that what the... Yeah, sort of, except yeah. it's got like a different hood and stuff. Oh, okay. But the, it's got like an R model front apron, but that's okay. what everybody does. And okay. They're fun track cars. Right, right. This is more eclectic. This is my <laughs> stylish Vega. <laughs> and it's a GT. Oh, GT. With an automatic. <laughs> Okay. There is nothing special or built up about it. It's like 110 horse, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a pretty cool old Survivor 67 Corvette 435 horse Roadster. It's got like 44,000 documented miles. Never been apart. Marina blue, blue leather interior, every stick of paperwork. Neat car. Just I got pictures of it with potted plants all over it and boxes of junk found in a garage in New York with the original owner. Hmm. Okay. This one's just a, it's a 68 SSRS 354 speed Camaro. Mostly original paint, rally green. Paint's wore out, but it's got white deluxe interior and power windows and loaded with options. Neat car. 69 Chevelle SSRS, or SS 396. Bench seat four speed. Tons of paperwork special ordered by, it was built at the Fremont, California plant, and it was built for a plant worker there, and there's even a memo in the paperwork telling the worker what time the car was gonna be in the paint booth to get painted, so he probably hand walked it through the paint booth to make sure they did a great job on his car. Yeah. Now this is a pretty nice 32 here, huh? 
Yeah, this is one of my favorites. Uh, two Roadster with a 509 inch big block Chevy. And, a and it has fuel injection? Yeah, it's all electronic fuel injection and a turbo 400 and a 3800 stall converter and nine inch Ford rear end. Gets with the program pretty good. Yeah, very nice. Now tell us about the, the two Camaros here, the uh, yellow and the silver one here. Uh, yellow one we finished a couple years ago called Jackass. Got the uh, newest Corvette ZR1 engine in it. Corvette wheels and tires, ZR1 wheels and tires, ZR1 carbon ceramic brakes, six speed air conditioning, making a little over 700 horse and gets 20 plus miles a gallon. And is this a, is this a Mark Stilo car? Yeah, okay. Stilo built the car for me basically. Yeah, it's got a full cage in it? Full cage, you can't see it from the outside. We hide it behind the pillars and behind the roof. Okay. We've driven, I got about 11,000 miles on it now, driven on three power tours. This is a Stilo built car also. This is called the Mule. Uh, full cage also. This is about, no, I've driven that on four power tours. That's about a 10 year old car. We kind of went overboard on it and did a twin turbo setup. Uh, what, what kind of horsepower? Uh, 100 octane gas, 16 pounds of boost, it made 1,021 horsepower at the flywheel. Wow. Um, but, it, you know, unless you're up on boost, you can run it on 87 octane if you want and get 20 miles a gallon if you oh, want. Oh, really? Yeah. 20 miles a gallon? Yeah, you can adjust the boost, yeah. Oh. It's got a six speed, and it's all electronic fuel injected. So oh, okay. You get on the freeway and have the computer lean it out and pull the timing and or advanced timing and just... Just loafs along, huh? Yeah. yeah. I think the best I did was 21 miles a gallon on one segment of Power Tour where I filled it with gas and got on the freeway and drove for about 150 miles babying it. Oh, yeah. yeah. But nice, quiet, turbo cars are real quiet anyway. Right, right, right. Yeah, this is yeah, this, in a fun car. Yeah, this is a very, very uh, well done car. So now the 64 cent question, which are your three favorite cars? We're driving probably this Camaro, the yellow Camaro, and the 32 Roadster. Oh, okay. That's your three best, most favorite drivers, okay? Yeah, I'd say so. The other ones just sit a lot of the time. I mean, the 1100 mile Camaro, you can't do anything with it. It's right. kind of a preservation spot for it. Right, right. These you can drive and have a lot of fun with. Sure. Versus the stock stuff, which is, I mean, back in the day, four and a quarter horse was a lot of fun, but if you've got a thousand horse or 700 horse, it's a lot more fun. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs>